In this really quick video, I'm going to show you how to easily and cheaply host your Hype documents on the web. So most web hosts require that you set up a domain name and they're not really easy to use and they're overly expensive. Um, in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use Nearly Free Speech, which is sort of a pay-as-you-go service. If you upload, let's say, 100 megabytes of content and you know under regular usage you'll probably spend about three dollars a year all right let's get started so you'll make an account on nearly free speech and then add maybe five dollars to it and then you'll create a new site on their service so this can be any uh, site name you want i'm going to call it tumult test seven So we don't need a domain name, so I'm not going to fill this out. Um, Nearly Free Speech gives you a domain, uh, which would be, in our case, tumultest7.nfshost.com. All right, in this step, uh, we do not need any server-side languages, so we can just do static. And you can see the storage charge here. And that's pretty much it. So now we have a button here to create a new site. And once you do this, uh, Nearly Free Speech will start setting up your new site. And I would wait maybe five to ten minutes before you try and load this domain. It takes a little bit for it to get set up. So in the past, I've already made a domain just so that we can bypass that waiting period. Um, the site I made is Tumble Test Site 6 and you'll see you can get your username here which is sort of based on the site name you have and then another thing you'll need to connect to your server is your password so nearly free speech supports sftp which is a pretty secure method of uploading your files and you'll need a ftp or sftp client to get your hype documents up on the server so i'm going to use cyberduck which is free and show you how to connect to it. So when you open Cyberduck, um, you'll probably be in this mode. Um, but let's go over to Bookmarks here, and then you'll click the plus button. Now since I've already made one, um, this is sort of what it looks like when you're creating a bookmark. For our purposes, we're going to make sure we have SFTP selected here. And you'll put in your nickname. You can call this whatever you want. And this is the server and our username. And there's no space for password that is asked of you later. Um, when you connect to your server, the path you want here is home slash public. And then you can fill in the full web URL here. Now you get that from this domain. And you can just control click, copy link, and you can get that here. So I'm keeping a note of all that info here. All right, so now that I have that bookmark set up, I'm gonna double click on it. And what that does is it connects to my server and we can see that it is empty. So now I'm gonna to go to Hype and I'm going to export my document to my desktop. I'm gonna make sure I also have save HTML file checked here. So what that does is it puts my hype document on my desktop right here. And then all I need to do is drag that into the Cyberduck window. All right, so now the domain name I have, which is this, I can just put the name of the hype document HTML file right here at the end, copy that, and I can load my hype document. So that's pretty much it. That's the, the bare bones instructions for getting a document up. But there's a few other tricks that might be useful. You can also quickly get the full URL of your uploaded HTML file by control clicking on it and going to copy URL and then grabbing the URL here. And this will put it in your clipboard. If you rename this to be index, 
you don't need to send people directly to the HTML file name. You can just send them to the folder. Another useful thing, uh, let's say you modified the logarithmic spiral document. I'm going to say show loading indicator and just adjust this. And then if you re-export to your computer, little animation changes like that only change, little changes like that just change the generated JavaScript file, which is located right here. So if you want to replace uh, an updated document, all you need to do is upload that. But um, Cyberduck has a, a clever way of comparing changed files. So if you upload the same thing, it's going to ask you um, what do you want to do? Do you want to replace? Do you want to rename? Um, but in our case, we want to compare. And that just looks at changes and uploads only changed files. So then if you were to reload your document, you get all those updates and everything should work just fine. So that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, uh, post them in the comments below. Thanks.